be making bases. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another video. Today we have something special, man. If you're new, please go ahead and get subscribed and make sure you also give me a thumbs up if you like today's content. Now look, we're gonna continue our series on the quickest way to do things in Logic Pro 10. Today's video is the quickest way to save drum samples in Logic Pro 10's Quick Sampler. So let's go ahead and jump in. now. The first thing we're gonna to wanna to do obviously is create a software instrument track and then go down here uh, and create a, a quick sampler track. You can do stereo. And it's gonna be located under instrument. From there, we'll go ahead and push create. And this is your quick sampler. So the crazy thing about this quick sampler is super simple to sample things. All you have to do is drag and drop anywhere from the computer or your program. If you're gonna do from Logic, all you have to do is go over here to the top right of your screen, and you can click this uh, option that has like the files and the music note symbol, and then click all files, and you can come on your computer and find drum sounds. You can always all go to like Splice or whatever. But for this demonstration, I'm actually gonna go over here and we're gonna be using our next level drum kit. So we have some drum sounds here, Let's say if we wanted to go ahead and bring in like a kick. All right, cool. Let's find a kick we want to use. So let's say we want to use that kick right there. All we have to do to save this is just go over here where it says factory default and then click save as. Once you push save as, you can just name it whatever. We'll just say next level kick uh, 0.4 okay and you can name it whatever you want but basically once you do that that's pretty much the process here now anytime I want to pull up this kick I can just create a new track software instrument and under instrument go to the quick sampler create that and then if I want to load that sample that I just saved Right where you see uh, factory default, click that. Go under load, and you can find, you know what I'm saying, the kick, which is that next level kick 04. All right, you can also find it um, just by scrolling down under here. Like all the sounds that you save will start appearing right here, like under everything that you see, like load, save, delete, etc. You'll see it down here as well. So that's gonna be the quickest way to save drum sounds in Logic Pro 10. So just to keep it going here, like I say, if you wanna keep on going, you're like, all right, I want some more sounds. Just keep it going. Um, now let's give a clap. Factory default, save as, name it. And now I can pull this up at any point in time, okay? Thanks for watching. Make sure that you go to my site, beatmakingbasics.com. We have full courses that have hours of content in it that you can download right onto your computer. And we also have um, loop packs and drum kits. Again, this uh, is the next level drum kit right here. Has a bunch of different sounds, man. I mean, uh, lots of different stuff that you could use here to help elevate your sound as a producer. Go to the site, Be Making Bases Now, and let's go ahead and grab some of those uh, products that I have for you. Also, if you don't do anything else, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and give me a thumbs up and leave a comment if you like this series and the videos that I'm posting. All right, so I appreciate y'all. I'll see you in the next video.